don't. Nikita's up the face. All right, let's do this. Oh, that's interesting. It's got a minigun for a... Mm. Kind of bad placement for that minigun, but, you know. Alright. So, I'm going to do this. Because I don't know where the... Uh, checkpoint is, but... Alright, let's do this. Those are going to blow up. Those are going to blow up. All this stuff blows up. There's no place to hide behind, either. It's all exploding nation. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so, question is, what do I use? That hurts. Luckily, those don't hurt like too much. But moving toward them. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, they were hurting me a bunch. They were using all of my rations. See, this whole time I thought it wasn't hurting me that much. I didn't even pay attention to my freaking rations. Right up the butt there. If only I could jump. Alright, I'm just getting a feel for it. So, I gotta blow the... Oh, I wonder if I... Can I use chaff grenades to make it mess up? <clears throat> Let's see where it starts for me. Oh, literally right here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna blow up the thing on the side. So doing the chap grenades is actually good. Do that, damn it. Oh, poop. Why did it show up quickly there? 
That sucked. Sometimes that Alright, so it is that little thing on the side that I need to keep hitting. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Alright, well it's gonna kill me anyway, so Just that thing every time you get a hit? Okay. That's Alright, so I guess chaff grenade. Oh shoot, I don't know. No, why the hell did I just go to a freaking sniper? Get up off the... Get up off your freaking... Damn it all. If I stay in this view, I don't get knocked out, which is kind of cool. But still freaking annoying. Seriously, it's dead. Okay. I thought I could hit it anywhere, but it is just that piece. Now... Is there another form, or do we go right into fighting? Did that do it? No, it didn't. I forgot about this. Hurry! Get away! Great boss, the name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. So ah, okay, yeah. You the terrible snake. You haven't aged well. I'll send you back to hell! I forgot he jumped in. Fox, why? What do you want from me? Oh, poop. Now, in front of you, I can finally die. After Zanzibar, I was taken from the battle. I can't. Neither truly alive. I just skipped over that whole thing. An undying shadow. In the world of light. Damn it. But I meant to pause it so I could. Soon it will finally end. Ah! 
crap. I missed all of that. Damn it. Snake. We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing. The only anyway, sorry, G Shot. Thank you for hanging around, man. At least I always fought for what I believed in. I don't remember what happens after between that, but oh well. I think he walks over and he jumps over and then he hits him and yeah. Yeah, no, he's dead. Dead, dead. Crap, it's the only one we've skipped. I skipped over actually. Foolish man. He prayed for death and it found him. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Die! All right, so now what? I do the same thing again. I don't have to hit him. Come on, seriously. Did not hit him. Ah, oh, poop. <laughs> How far back do I go? First fight or oh my god you kidding me oh that sucks now at least we'll be able to see the we'll see the cutscene again Come on. You know, this is going to be annoying, I can already tell. I just can't get away from those things is the problem. And I don't have any chaff grenades. I do, but I mean, it won't give me enough, it won't leave me enough for fight against them. This is gonna get me a little bit of a raid going on, I can tell. Already down to one ration? Yeah, this is stupid. This is gonna be this is gonna be stupid. There's no way I can do this. <laughs> can I get in behind him, you think? Oh, he just steps on the ground. Uh, okay. Um.
I think that may be the trick. To get away from those missiles. How did that missile? Easier the closer you are? Yeah, kind of within the circle. Even though he just smashed me, but that's nothing compared to what the, <clears throat> excuse me, what the um, missiles do. Sometimes you get up really slow, and then sometimes you get up really fast. I don't, I don't get it. Even after I'm, like, tapping a lot as well. Yeah, it's definitely easier the closer you are so he doesn't hit you with those missiles. Crap. Oh, shoot. Does it again. And a third time, because I can't get up. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, hit him. All right, so luckily, I figured out this part. Oh, frick. I thought maybe if I could go into the fight with all five. Get up, dude! Seriously, why does it sometimes take forever to get up? Don't step on me. Oh, I thought maybe that would hit him, but... Now I can see this cutscene. I'm not gonna touch it this time. Did that do it? I feel a little bit better about it this time. It's pretty much the same fight the second time, kind of. I'm gonna have to just stay close again. remember this as a, not a kid, but I remember seeing this for the first time way back. The part where he pulls him off the shelf and steps on him or whatever. And Fox, why? Try what shooting when he has Fox. Oh. Sounds like Forrest Whitaker. Tell her this so she doesn't want to kill me, please. Yeah, I'm glad we got to see this again, because skipping this was annoying. I saw her parents' eyes staring back at me. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are. Just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. What's over there? Ah. 
Okay, so this is what happens. Ah, uh, I forgot he was sliced and diced. In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes. Yeah. So, so, so seeing this for the first time way back in the day, I was like, holy crap. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? You're saying I can shoot? Maybe. Destroyed the radar. Impressive. You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox. But now you're finished. Uh, no, my other stinger. Oh, you're saying fight? Yeah. Can you really shoot? You'll kill him. I didn't do this before. No. It's no good. I can't do it. I can finally die. do it. It's no good. I can't do it. No. Trying to shoot is not letting me. Why no can't well, you? Yeah, that's really annoying. Oh, it doesn't let me do it. Do it. He's gonna die anyways. Oh, well. so it, either way, it's still the same outcome. So he leaves me a little present. It's over to my right. Yeah, but he is. He's totally Forrest Whitaker uh, from Rogue One. I always fought for what I believed in. Snake, farewell. So if I go over there, I think its present was destroying the radar. Oh. But he said one last present and it zoomed over to this floating box. Um, let me do this real quick. We'll get to this here in just a second. Hopefully. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. So would you hate me if I did this? So I don't have to do the first fight. I've proven that I can do the first fight with him. Yeah, this thing. Oh, he just gives me more stinger missiles. Okay. It's probably worthless of doing, but okay. So stay close. I got the only place to hit him is in the face. Damn it. That's what I didn't want to have happen is the stupid missiles. Hit the nose. Yeah, I'm trying to hit the chin, but it's it's not locking on because I'm not close enough. Shoot 
too close. There it is. I am... No, no, I've got plenty of ammo. Okay. It's health is the thing I'm worried about. Thought maybe just by chance it would actually hit him. <sighs> Poop that blue lasers. <laughs> no. Okay, so it, that one didn't lock on, but it still hit him. Damn it! Only one more hit. I'm not doing that whole fight again. I'm sorry. I don't care if it's not super 100% legit. I'm not going through that whole first half of the fight with him. I'm just not. I'm sorry. Not gonna do it. Not tonight. After we've been up this long. I just want to get through it then. That's annoying. That laser is definitely more powerful than it was the first time through. Definitely more more powerful this time. You can't. really wish they would have given Snake a maneuverable move or something. Like a... Oh, crap. He's really kicked my butt. Like some sort of just... Like in the second one. Just a dodge or roll or something. Yeah, shoot the guns at me all day. Not, their, not your blue laser. That's fine, too. He wants to do those. Actually, that's a good idea. Get close. The guns won't hurt as much. The blue laser. Back up. Then move forward. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm just not going to have any life for fighting. Okay. I'm just not going to have any life for fighting liquid. All right. No, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> oh, shoot. I want to actually fire and it didn't. Ow, oh, stupid blue laser. Get up! He just hit me twice! Get up! Why? Again, why is it sometimes you stay down for a lot longer? Alright, hold on. That's bull. That's bull crap. I don't get it. Get up! Yeah, now I want him to do those missiles. Oh, crap. 
Like, do the... Yeah, do those. No, not this time. Oh, I have no... Ah, that blue freaking laser. Yeah, there was no way I would have the patience to do the whole first fight with Metal, Metal Gear again. Throw your trap grenades, liquid missiles when he uses missiles. I don't care about the missiles. I actually want him to do the missiles when I'm that close because then it gives me time to line up a shot. It's the blue laser, which is the big thing. But how are you doing tonight? I don't have the patience for doing... Actually, when he does that and I'm close enough, that's fine because they don't hit me. Switching back and forth with the trap grenade and then coming back with this thing, I, I don't... Yeah, I don't... Now do the missiles. Oh, I'm not as close as I would like to be. Those will miss me. The blue, there we go. There we go. So I have that much life to fight liquid. <laughs> I'll you into dust. I do remember that much. to some of my health. So if I get all the way to here and I die, do you have to go back and fight Metal Gear again? Do all of that? Man, I can't believe I had the patience for this as a kid. Or as a teenager, whatever. Liquid's not too bad. With that little health? With no rations? I don't know. We'll see. Just in case, just because I want to wrap things up here. It's five hours. A snake, liquid. You're still alive. I won't die as long as you still live. Too That's bad. It. it looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you destroyed. Oh, I can move metal. around. Whoa! It doesn't mean I am done. Interactable cutscenes. This is a first. A world where warriors like us are PlayStation 1 doing this kind of stuff? We should be. That nice. big boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <gasps> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued men. <laughs> we were desired. But things oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, War isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. Oh, man, yeah, my back is starting to hurt. I do. It's time to wrap up here. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then... We'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do Stop you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? Well, at the time, I didn't know I was going to be betrayed well, by everybody. I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. I think that he came to learn the truth about something. It? 
Haven't you already well. killed most of my comrades? Th that was... <laughs> <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Yeah, we're not. Oh, we're something. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. Big Boss. But father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. Yeah, first time playing through this way back, I did not pay attention to the story that much. Super baby method. Super baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells. So I don't really remember it divide into eight clone babies. much of this, but... Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Oh. Octuplets? Yes. How'd we end up on top? The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig. To create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed. To create you. I got all of the recessive genes. So that's you what it's all about. from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny. Carrying on his genetic legacy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I kind of remember different. that. Digital. With the completion of the human genome project, Digital. the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. They DLC technically, I guess. Thanks to Father's DNA, oh FMV able to identify more than sixty soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Ultra combo into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the Genome Soldiers. Doesn't look like the 70s. <laughs> That's right. The Genome Soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. Hmm, okay. The Genome Soldiers. That's right. They it's basically all Snake brothers. has done this whole game. It's just replied back to things that have been said or with genes. just, huh, they what? Too are what do you mean? Of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human. See? Experiment. 1991, the Gulf War. Sure. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. That's what you're made to think. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm, poison mm -hmm. gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes. They, too, are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. 
We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't okay. know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can see. Is that what the family? second one kind of? I can't remember the second nature, one like, at all. Family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. Man, You're telling or me something that your else, genes but... are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. There's a lot of genes talk. And then I'm going to go beyond. Genes. In order to break the curse of my heritage. Ooh. And to do that first. All right, fight time. Look behind you. Meryl. <laughs> I, I, I nailed that. I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. How did she? How did we end up on Poor top of this thing? Calling your name, Meryl. Stupid woman, falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have and who we met no, one time, we and no past, we know for no five future. minutes. And even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business. We're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. I only care they about Naomi and Mei Long's jeans coming. That's a G-Shot thing to say, if Barto. You want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel? You know, give me a second. Let me ring him up. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? We gotta Not get at- I'm still here! B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. We don't have to get that specific, Metal just say they're destroyed. carrying bombs. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. All right. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. Well, How? Stop it. I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. We'll do it. Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced Why am I getting a mixed up foxhound or life. the good guys and then there's You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies. Colonel, I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? The Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Uh, Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You. Bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. We gotta get out of I'm here. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? 
Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So, you didn't mean to yeah. kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. Yeah. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Yeah, this well, really does make me want to play the second one. Soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. Because <laughs> I, I remember oh, well. that being definitely <laughs> easier to play as far There's as no way out combat and stuff. At least because you have like first person shooting and stuff. Let's finish and... this before the airstrike. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's fight. Please tell me I have more health than what I ended with. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our oh. final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her... How's it linked like that? Okay. Let's go. Three minutes. If you win. I'm gonna do this. Oh, it just started. If I win. You might still be able to save her. Three minutes. Alright. Well, time's ticking. Let me let me go. One brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you'll fall. At this height, it will kill even you. You're wasting 30 seconds of my time. Was there a punch and kick? You, snake. Yeah, let's see, 30 seconds. So there's punch and kick and just basically this. I thought, th I thought there was, uh, like, duck. Oh, there is so all the same stuff. Does have a lot of health. Nice shot. What's wrong, Snake? I thought you at least got. If you well, if you had any rations, I thought you uh, got to keep them, but. Can I throw him over? What's wrong, Snake? Yeah, the real, the the punching and the combat in this isn't as good as it could have been. Or is in other games. Is in other games, but. Uh, where are you? Thought I couldn't cross that line. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see where the game takes me back to, as far as checkpoints.
Oh, okay, wow. Oh, and it starts me in three minutes. That's actually a lot better than 2.30. Alright, so if he does the guard thing... So let him do that. Just, ah, see? And once you start hitting the X button, you keep... You keep kind of going. Oops. Oops, so... Oh, come on. Oh, frick. What's wrong, Snake? Ah, see, I just I get trigger happy. What the hell was that? Watch out, watch out. What's wrong, snake? What's wrong, snake? Yeah, he's doing this like weird arm thingy. time again oh he can hit me from that thing oh geez all right let's do it again yeah this one this isn't gonna be too hard it's just annoying Have at you, snake. the first couple hits i can get in because he's not guarding or anything Uh, best game ever made had on PlayStation, then got GameCube version. Welcome nice. in. Hopefully, we can end this here quite soon. But I'm hoping. It's been a long night. I'm doing better than I was last time now. Okay, doing that thing. Do that. At least get the kick in. That's good. He does his, like, weird running full charge thing here in a second, but we're actually doing that. I can just get the kick in. That's fine. If I miss the punches, I don't care. This is, uh, looking pretty good. Reminds me of the, uh, WWF game on the NES. Hulk Hogan running back and forth on the mat. That's what Liquid looks like. Watch when he runs like that. That's exactly what Hulk Hogan looks like on the NES WWF game. That's funny. Okay, yeah. We got it that time. Wow, I had a lot of time left. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. 
Oh. Oh no, I got a minute left. We already we just we killed you. Why do you have why do you have life back? What the hell? You saw that? He was dead. There, thank God. Get out of here. Oh. Hans Gruber. Die hard. <laughs>